Today we are talking all things POI placement and world editor. Now we have a lot of info to cover and no time to waste, so let's get to it. I recently released a video highlighting a very awesome custom built POI, the Eden Center Mall. And I received several questions about how you actually spawn the Eden Center Mall into the world, or how to spawn a POI into a world in general. So today we are going to go over how to use the world editor to customize your world and spawn in those custom built POIs. Now I'm going to use the Eden Center Mall as my my main example. Since the Eden Center Mall is a custom POI, you actually have to add this to your prefab list. So the first thing we're going to go over is how to add POIs to your prefab list. The first thing you want to do is open up your Steam account. Once you have Steam opened, navigate over to your games on the left hand side and find Seven Days to Die. Then right click on Seven Days to Die and click properties. This opens up this little window here and you want to go over to local files. Click that and then click on browse local files. This will open up the folder where your seven days to die game files are saved. Now what you want to do is double click on the data folder. Once that folder opens up, double click on the prefab folder. And this is where you want to place the files for your custom POI. All you have to do is just drag and drop the files into this folder and that custom POI will now be available in your copy of Seven Days to Die. Once you get Seven Days to Die loaded up and you come to the load screen here, what you wanna do is click on editing tools. And you want to come down here and click on world editor. This will bring up a list of worlds that you've already spawned or you've already created. Pick the world that you want to spawn the new POI into. So we are going to go ahead and select the mall map. Boom, the load world is checked. You're all good to go. And then you click the start button. Now we're actually loading the world into the world editor, which allows us to place custom POIs or actually any POI that you have loaded in your prefabs folder. Now, while we're waiting for our world to load, I did want to take this opportunity to say, if you're finding this video helpful and or enjoyable, be sure to join the Sav Nation by hitting that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you do not miss a single one of our tutorial videos. I release videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 3 p.m. Eastern. But now, let's get back to placing that mall. And here we are in the world editor. So a couple of things I wanna show you here real quick. You definitely want to go into your creative menu and you want, I, just, I usually just type dev in the search bar here and that'll let you get your dev tools. So for instance, the super digger, you definitely want that. That is a great way to get rid of trees, rocks, anything like that. You really don't need the insta-death pistol. You can grab that if you want. You might want to grab a paintbrush, but right now for all, all we're really going to need is just the super digger. So when you spawn into the world editor, you're automatically in God mode. So you're good to go there. You can move really, really fast. First thing you really need to do is find the place that you want to put the POI down. The POI we are going to um, actually load in here is going to be the mall. And the mall is very, very big. Very, very big. So what you want to do is take a look at your map and just to give you a frame of reference, this is the mall that I've already loaded into this world. That's how big of an area you actually need to find. So I want to head down in this direction here and we're going to see if we can find a great location for the mall in order to, uh, to place the mall here. So let's keep moving. All right. I think this is good. This should do. So let me show you the basic controls you are going to need. First thing you want to do is pick a starting point. So we are going to actually use our digger here we're gonna blast out these trees boom boom just to give myself a little bit more space now you do not really need to do that initially uh, and i'll show you why here in just a second so the first thing you're gonna do is just pick a spot one one spot so we're gonna look straight down here what you're gonna do is press the z key and you'll notice it brings up this nice little blue box so now we want to expand this giant blue box so we want it to go further south 
and we want it to go further west. We're going to head in that direction. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place myself heading directly southwest, and we are just going to run for quite a while. Because like I said, the mall is huge. You are going to need quite a big space in order to place the mall properly. So we're going to head on down this way, and we're going to go right to the edge of the water here. So let's uh, blast this tree, get it out of the way. And we are going to go right about here. That'll work. So once you get to the spot where you want your blue square to end, once again, you press Z. Now, if we turn around and look, look at that gigantic blue square. That's awesome. So we are looking to clear this area. That's what we're looking to do. So we have our area mapped out. Is you're going to hold shift and G. That brings up this little arrow right here. And now you can grab the arrow here and drag it up. Drag it up, drag it up, drag it up, drag it up, drag it up. You want to go all the way up. There we go. That's what you want. So now you've got a gigantic blue cube. That'll get rid of everything inside that area or that that highlights everything in that area. So it'll get it should get rid of the trees, should get rid of the grass, should get rid of all the rocks. All of that fun stuff uh, should be good to go. So the next thing you want to do is press the K button. K button brings up this little menu right here. And then you're going to go dynamic prefabs click on that and that brings up this little menu and the first thing you're going to do is hit clear selection now don't be afraid if this freezes because this takes a little bit of time to process it, it probably will seem like the game free or froze and oh no it's like, no it, you're fine you're fine just give it some time the game actually has to process getting rid of all of those assets, all the trees, all the rocks, all the grass. It has to process getting rid of all that stuff. And that takes a little bit of time. So if it freezes like it's doing now, don't worry. Don't freak out. That's normal. It'll come back up and everything will be gone. So boom, just like that. There it is. All right. So now we can exit out of that screen. So just hit exit. And there we go. All right, guys. So now if we take a look at our entire cleared section here, you'll notice that we have got quite a large cleared area. Now we've got everything nice and cleared. All you want to do now, just hit the backspace button. Boom. That gets rid of your selected area. Now we need to go ahead and start placing our POI. So when you are placing a POI into the world, it actually starts at the southwest corner. So we actually need to head to the southwest corner of our little cleared area here and start there. So we're gonna head this, this direction. Looks like that clear wasn't very effective. That's all right though, guys. It really, um, it doesn't matter too much. So we're just gonna pick a section here Let's uh, let's just start right here. So once again, you're going to hit the Z key. Then you're going to hit the K key to bring up your K menu. Go to dynamic prefabs. And what we're going to do is find the mall. So go on down, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. Oh, just passed it. Mall DOD. That's what you want. Just click on that. And now you're going to come over here and click on load into prefab. And that brings up this nice green box. And it looks like... All right, so it looks like we're going to have to go that way a little bit because we are on the edge of the water. So we need to go a little bit further north. So all we're going to do is hit the K button again, and we're going to go delete prefab. And because the mall is such a huge POI, it may take the game a second or two in order to actually delete the prefab. So once again, if, you, if it freezes like this, don't worry. Don't don't freak out. It's okay. Just takes the game a little bit of time to process. Okay, I've got to remove all of these assets. And there it goes. All right, so now we can hit the escape button here. Now you'll notice the mall is actually set up one block above ground level. That's pretty cool. So uh, there's actually a way that you can actually fix that, and I will show you that here in a second. But let's just move up. Let's go up to about here. And what we're going to do is actually blast a hole in the ground, and we're actually going to set this down one more block here. And we're going to hit the Z key again, boom, right down in the hole we just blasted, bring up the K menu, dynamic, make sure the mall is selected, load in prefab. All right, so now let's make sure we're not in the water. We are not in the water, good. 
Let's just go around the whole prefab just to make sure that it, the whole thing has spawned in. Looks good. Now, the reason that I showed you how to clear an area is because you want the, the ground that you're placing your prefab to be level. So that might mean having to go down an extra level. Oh, perfect. Perfect. So that is all spawned in and good to go. So now all you have to do is go K and then click on save all prefab positions. Now there's a couple things that, that you should do. First, hit exit and click on the save button. Now what I also like to do is also hit F1 to bring up the console command menu here and then just type in save world. There we go, and as it, as it says, executing command save world, world save. Now you can hit exit to exit out of that, and there it is, guys. The mall has been spawned in, and now that we have this world saved, we can actually exit out and start a new game, and the mall will be here. So let's check the map, and we are at about 1200 west, 700 north. That'll get us in the, in the area. Now we should be able to, in once we get into the actual world, we should be able to find the PO. I no problem. So let me go ahead and exit out and we're going to start a brand new game in the mall map and we're going to name it uh, POI placement and then click the start button and we are spawned into our brand new world, our brand new game. I'm going to go ahead and turn on the debug menu here and turn on God mode just so I can show you that we need to get to. All right. It was, I think it was right about here. So I'm going to go ahead and teleport here. <laughs> I guess I got that right. <laughs> I teleported myself directly onto the mall. Oh, I love it. But as you can see, guys, here it is in the world, all good to go. Let's uh, let's go down a little bit lower here. All right, so it's completely spawned in in the place that we placed it. You'll notice it is nice and level with the ground because we uh, we went down th that extra block there, and you are you're all set. That is all it takes to spawn a custom POI into the world. Just to recap, what you want to do is open up Steam. You uh, right click on Seven Days to Die and click on Properties. Then you want to click click on local files and then click browse local files that will open up the folder on your computer where your seven days to die game has been installed. Then you want to click on the data folder, open that bad boy up and then open up, click double click on the prefab folder that opens up the prefabs in your game. Then you just drag and drop the mall files over to the prefab folder. Now you have the mall prefab actually loaded into the game files so you can actually spawn it into a world. Then you just go into the world editor, pick the world that you want to spawn the mall into, find a good location, hit the Z key to highlight a single block. Remember when you're placing the mall, you want to start in the southwest corner. So it starts from this side of the mall. So the southwest corner of the POI is where you want to start. And then it works its way north and to the east. So it works its way that away. So start in the southwest, pick a great position or great location, start in the southwest corner and make sure you have enough space cleared out and ready to go. Clearing the area is not 100% necessary. You don't absolutely have to do it. However, I do suggest clearing the area that you want to put the POI into. That way the the ground is nice and level and you don't it's not uneven. If you have uneven spaces, that can really mess up POI placement. So make sure it's nice and level. So hit Z to select a, a block, run your happy butt all the way to the other edge. So if you're starting in the north and you want to you want ahead uh, southwest that's fine or if you're starting here and you want to head northeast that's fine just make yourself a gigantic gigantic area to clear and then you hit shift g that brings up the ability to raise your blue box your clear area raise that up as high as you can clear that selected area don't freak out if it freezes on you because it probably will because it takes some time. Let that area clear off and get nice and level. Then you're ready to place your POI. Come back down to the south southwest corner. Hit the Z key once again to place your, your highlighted block, your little blue block. Hit the K button in order to bring up the dynamic prefabs little menu, the K menu. You click on the dynamic prefabs, find the POI that you want to spawn into the world, select it, click the load button, 
button, double check, make sure it's all placed good to go. If it is, hit escape, save the world, or turn on the, the F1 menu, hit F1 to bring up the console command menu and type in save world. I honestly recommend doing both. You really wanna make sure that it saves. There's nothing more frustrating than getting the POI thinking you're good to go, forgetting to save, spawning into the world and being like, ah, oh, crap, the POI's not here. I forgot to save. I've done it many a times, folks, so it's very easy to do. Make So make sure you definitely save as soon as you are good to go. As soon as you have the, the POI loaded into the world, save the world and then go back out, start your new game, and that POI will be loaded into the position that you chose. Just like this one here. So we have our mall all set up and good to go. Now, if you want to do a, a mall exploration series or you just want to do a playthrough with the mall in there, the mall is now inside that world and you are good to go. So it is that easy, ladies and gentlemen. Well, I wouldn't say easy. It is a little complicated, but that's what I'm here for. That's why I make these videos to try to explain the uh, little complicated things as, as easy as I can. The world editor tool in Seven Days to Die is absolutely awesome. It allows the player to spawn in custom made POIs like the Eden Center Mall. So I really hope that this video has answered your questions on how to place a custom POI. And once in the world editor, you can use that same process. You can use that those same steps to add any of the POIs that are in your prefab list. So again, I hope this video answered your question on how to place the, the mall POI as well as other POIs. And you're able to spawn that POI into a new world and explore it and absolutely have a blast doing so. Speaking of the Eden Center Mall, as I stated previously, I did recently release a video covering the mall. You can actually access that video by clicking the box in the top right corner of the screen. But for now, this is Savin saying thank you ladies and gentlemen for joining me in Savin's World. And remember, the average gamer is always king of the hill on the bell curve.